Judge Kavanaugh is doing pretty well, it seems to me, over the last 24 hours. A lot is going to depend on what comes back from the FBI in terms of their their additional number seven investigation. But I think that Judge Kavanaugh is doing very well right now. More from Donald Trump today on his Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, as the FBI continues its investigation into allegations of sexual assault and misconduct against Kavanaugh with a deadline looming of this Friday to wrap up that probe. Now, the U.S. president says he believes Kavanaugh will be confirmed. And Trump adding this in response to a reporter's question. I don't think you should lie to Congress. And there have been a lot of people over the last year that have lied to Congress. And to me, that would not be acceptable. There are questions coming from Democrats over whether Kavanaugh may have misled the Senate Judiciary Committee last week when he answered questions about his yearbook and his drinking. When you talked to Fox News the other night, you said that there were times in high school when people might have had too many beers on occasion. Does that include you? Sure. Okay. Have you ever passed out from drinking? Uh, uh, passed out would be no, but I've gone to sleep. But. I've never blacked out. Christine Blasey Ford, the woman accusing Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her when they were both in high school, says Kavanaugh was intoxicated at the time of the alleged assault. Kavanaugh has denied all allegations. In recent days, Kavanaugh's college friend, who says he's been in touch with the FBI, speaking out. What specifically did he testify to that you believe is a lie? I have seen Brett drunk to the point he could easily be passed out. But you never saw him passed out. No, I never saw him passed out, but I saw him quite drunk. And the New York Times is reporting Kavanaugh was questioned by police after a bar fight in 1985. When he and some college friends approached a man they thought looked like the lead singer of the band UB40. Today, a New Haven police officer said Kavanaugh was present during that decades-old alleged altercation, but was not arrested. Through the searches of microfiche uh, from 33 years ago, we did find uh, one incident. Um, in which it is alleged that Mr. Kavanaugh threw ice at someone. Uh, however, uh, and to be very clear, it is alleged that the injury to that person occurred when a glass was thrown at him, and Mr. Kavanaugh was not the person named as the person who did that. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders tweeting, Democrats desperately attacked Judge Kavanaugh for throwing ice during college. What motivated New York Times reporter to write this ridiculous story? throwing ice 33 years ago, or her opinion of Judge Kavanaugh in July. Sanders sharing a tweet from one of the reporters on the story's byline that's critical of Kavanaugh. The White House released statements this week from two of Kavanaugh's Yale classmates who say they never saw Kavanaugh blackout or disrespect women. On Sunday, Republican Senator Jeff Flake and Democratic Senator Chris Coons, who were instrumental in calling for the FBI investigation into Kavanaugh, said lying would be a deal breaker. If... Judge Kavanaugh is shown to have lied to the committee. Nomination's over? Oh, yes. I would think so. And an update on the FBI investigation. The lawyer for Mark Judge, a friend of Kavanaugh's, and the person Ford says was in the room during the alleged assault, says the Bureau's interview with Judge is now complete. No further details were released.